time now for weather with Nebraska Extension Ag Climatologist and Market Journal Chief Meteorologist Al Dutcher. And wow, we had a cold end to October, Al. These chilly temps going to be hanging around for a while? Well, Troy, yes, it has been a cool month. In fact, much of the Pacific Northwest all the way through the Northern Plains and southward into the Central Plains has run anywhere from three upwards of 10 degrees below normal for the month of October. And it really intensified this week, of course, with the storm systems that moved through during this period. Last week we talked about the differences in the models and it looks like the GFS really come out to be the better model in regards for the total precipitation. It did a very poor job on the secondary portion of that system as it moved down the Texas Panhandle. It was advertising it to move well to the south. It was, and in fact, it moved sort of to, similar to what the Euro was indicating. But most of the heavy precipitation laid well to the east of us. Um, and then we also seen some pretty significant snowfall occur, uh, accumulating in portions of the upper Great Lakes region. Anywhere from one to three inches widely reported in terms of uh, wetness, basically from central portions of Iowa eastward. It looks like they're going to come to a grinding halt in terms of harvest activity for the foreseeable future. And then we did see some rather substantial snowfall accumulations, particularly in the southwestern Nebraska and along the front range down into southern uh, portions of Colorado where up to two foot of snow was reported unofficially. So as we go forward, of course, we're looking at the harvest and we're trying to figure out whether or not we're going to see some good weather. And we do have kind of a mixed mode here over the next seven days with a little bit better conditions as we go a little bit farther out into the future. So as we take an upper look at the upper era model, basically here's your jet stream pattern and we got the one system that moved through over the last 24 hours is now uh, intensified into the trough in the eastern United States and that will not be much of a player in our weather into the foreseeable future. Our attention draws to the west and we have a low pressure in southeastern Colorado. There's just no moisture associated with that dry cold air in place. Most of the snowfall will occur over the Great Lakes. Now as we get into Sunday and Sunday evening, we're going to be looking at a couple pieces of energy moving in northwest flow that may clip the northern plains and possibly even portions of northeastern Nebraska, but firmly uncontrolled as high pressure, at least in the southern part of the state, as we start to see the snowfall spread toward the south and the southeast. Now on Monday, it looks like the cool air starts to dip and pull into place as high pressure builds into our region. A low is indicated to develop in the Texas Panhandle but it is too, uh, development is too uh, short, short to be able to pull a lot of moisture up into our region, so it looks like the best accumulation will be across the Dakotas with possibly slipping into northeast Nebraska. And then on Tuesday, most of that wave moves to the west or east of us, and the high pressure firmly in control as it moves into the center part of the country, and we will expect some cool conditions. And you can see most of the accumulated snowfall directed over northern Illinois and Michigan. And then we see on Wednesday that we start to see a relief from this trough as it starts to ease up toward the north and we start to build some ridging into our region. Once again, another thermal low is expected to develop in southeastern Colorado with high pressure to our north. We start to move some moisture to the north, but not fast enough to meet this cold front. So most of the moisture will remain once again Nebraska border northward, and then that will shift toward the Great Lakes on Thursday as that trough redigs across the eastern United States and high pressure firmly in control. So we're going to be back down into the 40s possibly seeing some residual snow uh, based across the Dakotas and northern Nebraska, but the primary emphasis of this storm system will be to our east once again, and then we'll be in that northwest flow with another low pressure system developing in South Dakota, but this one is expected to move toward the southeast and bypass Nebraska, bringing in much warmer conditions and drier weather, particularly as we go through next week and in an early part of the following week. In terms of the 8 to 14 day forecast, that cold air in place with that northwest flow particularly emphasized over the Great Lakes, Ridging to our west will start to build in, particularly as we get past Sunday. And in terms of precipitation, with that ridge building in, we expect drier conditions to be in store. So, Troy, overall, it looks like we've got a couple chances of precipitation. Primarily, mostly, it will impact northern Nebraska, and then it looks like a fairly decent forecast for harvest activity.